What's going on everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a this is probably gonna be a quick rundown for what happened with uh Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Um if you guys are wondering why this review is late, I will link a video pretty much giving you guys an update on what's been going on with me. Outside of that, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and go through it. I'm not wearing my team on these t-shirts today because they didn't have my baby on there, so but I'm still team on these. Y'all already know that. So, you have Ray J going to uh, the studio to see Max, and you know, Ray J feels that okay, well, she didn't cheat, so you should just get over it. That don't, here's the thing <clears throat> y'all, y'all let me know what's worse. I mean, I got it. Cheating, yes, that is bad because you're literally breaking the sanctity of a marriage at this point, but at the same exact time, stealing from your damn child, no. No, I, I'm, I'm not here for that. So it's one of those where Ray J, you can keep that shit. Because I'm pretty sure we didn't see Ray J push Princess into the fucking pool. I'm pretty sure Ray J probably would have been on some other shit had that been Princess. And now, did anybody else peep that um, Max was giving us some Ike Turner realness? Last, I forgot to mention it, but he straight up, like, <clears throat> okay. He looked like he didn't. Okay, anyway. So Max said he don't want to go home till she put that uh, money back in the bank, bruh. Yo ass gonna be sleeping in the studio for quite some time. And Ray J wonders about his relationship with Princess given this, like, is this what he has to look forward to during marriage? So it looks like this is gonna re usher in the um prenup discussion. We'll see. Mm, Lyrica A and Lyrica G is in the studio because Lyrica A uh is practicing you know and Lyrica G pretty much tells her like since this song is heart wrenching and whatnot, you need to go ahead and expound you know it's one thing you know on the track okay you can kind of leave it hanging but if you gonna see this shit live you need to sit here and let it go which was some good advice I was feeling that okay <clears throat> Lyrica A wants uh, the mothers to meet up and you know Lyrica G has said in her confession that she has tried to help out Pam by you know trying to you pretty much saying that she looked busted and told the fuck down so I was trying to help out but it was the the delivery and how I, I perceived it I'm pretty sure Pam probably, probably received it the same way if not worse you know because it didn't sound like it was coming from a genuine place you know <clears throat> so now you got Masika Nia and uh, the Michelin man I'm just trying to figure out why the Michelin man, man is bad like why can somebody tell me this I, I really would like to know why and then he wants to sit here and talk about, you know, how men are discrediting women and whatnot. Motherfucker, you are disrespectful to women. You are the same individual who threw an alcoholic drink in Hazel E's face. And I think he said some loans of eat that or take that bitch. Really? Okay. Anyway, we got Safari. Okay. Um, Max and Brandy, so Max is in the motherfucking strip club, you know, uh, make it, make it rain, rain. Throw it up, throw it up. Or is it pour it up, pour it up? I always forget. I don't remember. I don't remember. Y'all can eat me about that in the comment section, whatever. But I know the song was pour it up. Screw you guys. Anyway, he ended up with the script, but his, his boy didn't put the shit on, uh, Instagram. So, apparently, Brandy knew where the fuck to find him. Shows up, and she... You know, it's like, well, I guess I gotta smell pussy, you know, to talk to my man. I mean, well, here's the thing. You could have moved the conversation someplace else, but I can understand Max and, and his feelings and whatnot. What I will say is she did make a comment about him not being home to see the baby. Now, we all, now here's the thing. I am slightly upset with him about that. He should drop in. He should spend time with his son, and then he can go back to the studio. He don't have to be there with her, and I'm all for teaching her a lesson. All, excuse me, all fucking for that. Because I can guarantee y'all, the shoe would be on the other foot. Wouldn't nobody be saying shit to Brandy if the shoe was on the other fucking foot? And he keeps saying, when have I ever told you no? She's like, well, I'm trying to make you proud. But his whole thing is, when have I ever told you no? And he doesn't want an explanation. All he wants is, you know what? I fucked up. I'm sorry. How can we make this work better? And she's not giving him that. And, you know, she gets on the fucking bullshit, walks away now. You know... She should have just bust through the motherfucking security and when it just, you know, I, I don't know. It's one of those where I'm on the fucking fence about it, but at the same exact time, she just needs to woman up, just say, I fucked up, and that's it, and just move the fuck on. So now we got Lyrica G and Pam, you know, they sit down, and it seemed like it's going okay, and, you know, then you have fucking Lyrica G talking about some, well, I would think a lady of your age and of your uh, intelligence would know when you overstage your welcome or some shit like that. And that's some shit where. I'm just saying, if another dude says some shit like that to me, I mean, I have matters in decorum and all that shit, but that's some shit that'll get your ass popped. 
You don't tell another motherfucker some shit like that. And again, it's a very condescending tone that Lyrica G has. I'm surprised Pam ain't popped that in her fucking mouth yet. I'm just saying. So, and then she asked her, are you easily offended? Well, maybe that's something you should work on. <laughs> okay, see, I'm being be nice. Now we got Safari Ray J and A1. They all talking to shit, and you got A1 talking about his issues. And it's like, Mama Beef? Oh, Mama Beef, not Mama Beef, Mama Beef. That's, and that, the show, the title, I'm sorry, the episode was called Mama Beef. If y'all can recall from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta last season, they just sat here and made thigh meat a thing. Now we got Mama Beef being a thing. Mona, I'm gonna need for you to come back. I just need for you to come back. Don't, don't do that. Now we got Masika and the baby. Okay, it is what the fuck it is. All right, so here's the thing. I'm gonna just wrap them up like them, okay? Her and, you know, Fatty, they didn't kiss the maid up. She didn't went had the baby. It's a beautiful thing. Her head was laid. You know, she said, y'all not finna catch me looking crazy. I don't know why you let your mama look that crazy, but it was the fuck it is. We're moving on. Nikki and Rosa. So, and I'm gonna tie, go ahead and tie Safari so business. Here's the thing. I don't give a fuck about they damn, you know, whatever fucking relationship she has going on. And y'all know I don't see it for Fizz, especially when he come at, you know, uh, Moniece the way that he does. But what I will say is I am not happy with the fact that you have Nikki, you know, going off on Fizz the way that um, she did. But the same exact thing you're going off on Fizz about is the same exact thing you're doing to Safari and Rosa. It's not cool. It's not fucking cool. You know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. But hey, it is what it is. that's what the fuck happens when you're dealing with a plastic ass bitch. So, hey, it is what it is. Moving the fuck on. So now we got the mama B. Look. Oh, shit. I, I'm, I'm shaking the camera. <laughs> ah, but anyway, in this shit off, we got the fucking mama B. Because, you know, that's what the fuck it was. Lyrica A started the shit off with, you know, who you done moved out. And it's one of those where, okay, you're already setting the tone for the fuck shit. And then you have Lyrica G. Like, well, I want to make a toast and all this other stuff. And, okay, yeah, Pam was being a little fucking hood. It's talking about, so yeah, I want to toast it. I mean, it what the fuck it is. I mean, and she like, well, how, and now you got to look at G like, how you going to sit here and try to make a toast on what I'm trying to make a toast on? And it's like, okay, you're getting very, very, now I got it. Okay, that's a little disrespectful, but okay, well, she let her toast. You know, it, you know what I'm saying? She's like, it is what the fuck it is. And I do understand it. When you don't fuck with someone, it's, it, little things can sit here and trigger you. I, trust me, I know. If I don't fuck, first and foremost, I'm going to keep it all the way 1,000 with y'all. If I don't fuck with somebody, I don't break bread with their ass. Work it, you know what I'm saying? Work in business, that's one thing. You know, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to play the damn part. You know, I will be a professional because it's what you do. It's called being a fucking adult. But outside of that, if it ain't got shit to do with work, business, my money, I ain't going to be around your ass. Ain't shit we need to say. And I'm not going to sit here and break bread with you and you try to play these motherfucking games. It ain't finna happen. But the shit started to blow up and she was like, well, I want to make, make a toast to Pam moving out. And then shit just starts to go left. And then sh now, Lyrica G is starting it. Now you got A1 coming at her. It was one of those where he was like, well, you started it. Lyrica A is trying to say, well, she didn't start it. And then next thing you know, Lyrica G slaps her uh, glass. Fluid gets on Pam. Now it's a big thing. And, you know, you got A1 semi going off on Lyrica G. But now he's sitting here not just checking his mama. But yelling at his mother. Now, here's the thing. I can understand him being upset with his mother. But first and foremost, let's say this. If he was being a real man, this should, we would have never gotten here. Point blank in the fucking period. Number one. You can tell that the mothers have gone off on each other before. First and foremost, that's one of those where, one, I'm going to just let them do what the fuck they do because they are grown as women. But at the same exact time, if he had already established that presence, it would have never, I'm not going to say it would, have, it would have never gotten there, but it could have been more control. And you can tell that there's no respect for him because all the women are just doing their own fucking thing. But one thing that I'm not going to do, well, in general, I'm not going to do it, but I'm not going to stand there and begin to yell at my mother as if she is a child and then to do it in front of people. Again, I'm surprised that he didn't get laid the fuck out for doing some shit like that. But he had absolutely no control, and that was just um, that was that was unbecoming, truly unbecoming. And y'all actually get a decent ass view from me because I wasn't even thinking about talking this damn long. But that's it. That's all that I got. So I know better late than never. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. Oh shit! I'm fucking up my camera and shit.